So today we get to move on from our 2x4 walls and we're going to be putting up these uh, thin sheets of mahogany. They're 4x8 sheets. So we're going to put those up in spots um, just like over there and up in the loft as well, which I'll show you. But uh, the good thing about these is you can paint them really easily. So we're pretty excited about that and they were only $20 a sheet. So. That's what we're doing today, and I'll show you guys our first one. So this is what the first one looks like, and then we're just going to have a, a molding over here, which will cover this. But I'm going to paint these so they're not going to be brown. But it's turning out pretty good so far. We like it. <laughs> He hit the jackpot. Did he? He's in the bag. No, look at him. <laughs> yeah, look at him. He's like, see ya. <laughs> I think we might want to move those. Here's a nice wide view of the loft. This is where our heads are going to be. So we're going to make like a headboard design type thing for over here. And I'm also going to paint it. But I think it looks great. And then you can kind of see down there. Yeah, it turned out way better than I thought it was going to. So now that we've done a couple of the walls and the mahogany sheets, we're just cleaning up the floor. We're going to take these sheets and put them on the floor so we have a nice level surface to put our flooring on. We're getting very eager to start putting things together. The 2x4 walls, great idea, super cheap. Definitely uh, don't regret it at all or anything, but it does take a lot of time. So we just decided to buy these sheets for $20 and put them on the remaining walls, which honestly was only the back wall, the wall up top, and then there's like a little piece by the stairs. So that's no big deal. So once we get the flooring and all that down, it probably won't be this video, but it definitely will be soon. Uh, we'll be able to do some finishing touches. We just like to switch things up so we're not getting so burnt out on doing the same thing. We've been working on these walls for probably like two weeks off and on because with the weather and Bruce working and stuff like that, it gets hard for us to get down here. Um, I also got a question on my last video. We do plan on living in here full time all year round. Um, to say when, I'm not really sure. We were hoping June, but it's taking a little bit longer than we thought. So that's that. And then we got uh, some sheets of plywood that have the soft side and then the rough side. That's what we're gonna be building our kitchen cupboards out of on both sides of our kitchen. So that'll be super fun. And then I'll paint them and uh, put all the finishing touches on that. So yeah, it's starting to come together. And then for the bathroom, just in case you were wondering, that's gonna be one whole separate video. We're still doing some research on composting toilets and just last fine details just to make sure that the bathroom is going to flow well for us. So yeah, we're just going to put those sheets down and then hopefully maybe tomorrow or the weekend we'll be able to put the flooring down, which is really exciting. When we first built the floor, like the main frame part of the bottom of the cabin, uh, I think it was like last year, it was just the two of us, so we built it in sections, and I wasn't strong enough to hold it up, so there's like, it's not quite even, so we're trying to combat that with these mahogany sheets, and then we'll have a layer of underlay, and then our laminate flooring, 
and we'll probably go with like the 12 to 8 millimeter laminate flooring so it's nice and thick and durable so these floors should be very level No, you take one? You just you jump up on the tree stump there. Oh. I just wanted to apologize for these obnoxious squirrels. We thought it would be a great idea to feed them because, you know, they're cute and whatever, but they are driving me nuts. I hope it doesn't bother you guys too much. I just wanted to apologize for that, but yeah, the show must go on. See if my measurement skills were good or not.
There you go, work. Take it to me. So we got all of the floor laid down. It looks awesome. It's really level now. The hump is gone. The hump used to be here, but you can barely tell now, but we're very happy with it. Oops. But uh, we're very happy with it. This is gonna make it so much easier to put laminate flooring down with our subfloor and everything like that. So that's gonna be next on the list of things to do is go get our flooring and Lay it down. We're very excited. It looks awesome. Sometimes things happen out of your control. Living in the country, driving the dirt roads, a flat tire is bound to happen. But we don't let that damper our mood. We take the time to fix the issue and continue on our day. Let me remind you to not let the small things bother you. This is our new to us side-by-side -side Sal. She is a project, if you couldn't tell. Uh, she definitely needs some back tires. Those two are flat, and the one of the front ones is, in fact, a car tire. But let's not judge her. She was a very good deal. We couldn't pass her up, although the owner wasn't quite sure what was wrong with it. But we wanted to take that gamble because we thought she would be a great asset to our life down at the tiny cabin she'll be able to help us bring in lots of lumber and we will also be able to show you guys around nova scotia show you some trails some waterfalls and take you on some really fun adventures so definitely be on the lookout for that but after a couple of days we rewired her we got a new battery and then my brother gave us a few tips which eventually led to her starting which is very exciting so yeah we really can't wait to take you guys around and show you our beautiful province of nova scotia Good morning guys i hope you all are having a great day it's a beautiful day down here at the tiny cabin today we're going to be starting the flooring on the loft so we'll show you what the flooring looks like we're super excited we got it at our local hardware store super cheap i think it was like 50 bucks for four of these big boxes which is like roughly 20 square foot a box so this is what it looks like it's 12 millimeters very beautiful we have about 80 square feet of it, so uh, that should do the up top. I think it's like 65, 63 square feet or something like that. So we're very excited to get this put down, so let's get started. So we just put down the underlay. We got 200 square feet of this, so that'll do the whole cabin. It was like 40 bucks for the roll. So we put this down and then we get to put the flooring on. Yay. This? No, do the way. Super thick, super durable. It's gonna look great. Now our bottom 
flooring is going to be super light color, but um, for up here, it's going to be, we paid like cents for this uh, flooring, so we're going to splurge on the flooring down there, which is going to be very light color. I think it's like an oak. It's very nice, but uh, you're literally not going to see any of the flooring up here. That's why we didn't care to match the flooring. Moment of truth. Hey guys, just popping in to remind you to follow me on Instagram at Kayla's Cabin Life. I post quite often, so if you are wanting to stay up to date on my life and the tiny and everything else in between, then you can find me over there. Wow. Good. So, uh, when you get more flooring put down here, does it like keep it? Push down? Probably. Okay. Yeah, it fits perfect. You know why it doesn't fit? No. I don't want to break it. Oops. Doing the same thing. I know, but once we get a couple, just a couple on there, it'll probably stop. It's not like connecting though, babe, is what I'm trying to tell you. So we are halfway done with the flooring. This is how it's turning out so far. It looks super good. And it's going together fairly easy, which is also really good too. So we managed to finish all of the flooring in the loft. After we got the hang of it, it went down super smoothly. We're very happy with the outcome. Um, all we have left to do up here, um, I'm gonna stain and paint and stuff before we put up the moldings, but once the moldings are up, that's pretty much it. And then we can put our stuff in here, like our bed, dresser, and all that good stuff. But yeah, we're glad to get the floor done. <laughs> I already left this beautiful bouquet of flowers on our doorstep. We have carried every piece of building material needed to build the tiny cabin. Our two hands have carried countless two by fours, patio blocks, plywood, steel roof, and everything in between. Looking at how far the tiny has come, all that hard work is paying off. you can see her she's right there it's an eagle and a nest she's just chilling so yesterday was saturday and we decided that we would take the opportunity to bring everything down that we needed for the next couple of days so we brought all of our uh two by sixes any two by fours left uh, all of our decking, we have four by four concrete blocks. Um, and then we've got our laminate flooring for the bottom half. And I don't know about anybody else, but wherever you are, is it like super windy? It has been windy here for the last like week. It's crazy, but I'm gonna show you guys the flooring. All right, so we got five boxes of this flooring and I forget what it's called. Remember what this is called? Um, no, I don't actually. Anyways, I'll put what it's called on the screen somewhere. But, um, we've got, like I said, we got five boxes, so that's about 100 square feet. We're going to start with this. It was 288 a square foot, so it was a little more on the pricey side. 
but uh, this is what it looks like. I think it's going to bring out all the wood colors in the cabin, so I thought it was a perfect fit. So the flooring is called Dune Beige, and it's 19 square foot per box, so basically 20. But yeah, that's the flooring that's going to go in the rest of the cabin. I think this is where I'm going to end this week's video. It's a bit of a long one, so I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, if you are new and you made it this far, thank you so much, and I hope you subscribe. Leave a like and let me know the weather where you are. So I'll see you guys next time.